Firebird JP is back with another gas mask review video. Yay! Anyway, I'm going to be reviewing the Russian PBF gas mask today, so you can already guess what's inside this bag. This is the carrying bag it came with. Small, compact, and very portable. Very high quality bag, too. Let's open the bag. Here we have Russian PBF gas mask. The eyepieces, the exhale valve voice diaphragm, which comes apart. I'll show you a little bit. Comes off like that. Bada bang. This comes apart more, so I'm going to show you some more. Might as well. Pull the ring. Show you inside a little bit. There's a thin piece of plastic there. That is the voice diaphragm. A little piece of plastic keeps the air from not going in and it amplifies your voice. The exhale valve, still in one piece. So I'm gonna put this back on. This mask doesn't look as good without the actual parts on it. Ah. Um, a little bit of information about this mask. I'm not exactly sure when the date, the date when these were actually produced, but I know they were used by military officials, and I believed. Yeah, I, I think actually the colors of the mask depended on the rank. I believe that though. I think I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh. Because there's black and white. Okay, the sneeze went away. Or right, maybe not. Um, but I, the riot, the Russian riot troops also use these masks. I don't know why, but they do. Um, voice diaphragm, XL valve, eyepieces. Uh, special design for better hearing, and the cheek filters. I took the filters off because so I could show you what the filters like. Do not expect me to put the mask on with the filters in these because this is a bitch to get the filters out and put them back in. It took me good at least 10 minutes. I'm not going to spend the whole video trying to put the filters back in, so deal with it. I'll show you the filters. Here are the filters. Very nice design. Very, um, these are actually pretty cool, like, more I look at it, I was just like, this is a pretty cool design, like, cheek filters, that's genius, you don't have to screw it on, it's already in the mask for you, kind of like the Czechoslovakian M10, just like that, or the US M17, they both had cheek filters, so maybe Russia picked up that design from them, or... U.S. and Czechoslovakia picked up design from Russia. Here are the um, filter discs. You put them on the sides of the mask like that. When the filters are on it though, I'm not going to put the filters on. So, mask is very comfortable. So, oh, the carrying bag. I almost forgot about the carrying bag. There's a carrying bag. Might as well wear it for you people. I wear the mask. Let me move the camera over so you can see what it looks like. Carrying bag, just like that. It's got a waist strap. Goes around. There's a little book here. Just like that. Very cool bag, it fits very nicely, adjustable to any size person. So, I'm just gonna keep this on for the rest of the video, I might as well. Just carrying bag. Now, I bet you people wanna see the mask on me, so I'm gonna move the camera over back to the position it was in. Let me 
check real fast. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. All right, now I'm gonna put on the mask for you people. Brush and PBF. Oh, wait a minute. I can show you guys the inside of the mask. Silly me. What the hell am I thinking? Oh god, this is gonna be a fun one to see out of or see in. Since it's entirely black. I will do my best though, alright? So, here's the inside of the mask. If you can't see it that well, I'm sorry, but it's the best I can do. Yep, it's the inside of the mask. Now I'm gonna put it on. This mask is kind of hard to put on. It's not that it's not my size, it's my size, but it's just a tight fit. So what you want to do, is you put it over your chin, just stretch the rubber out. Oh god, this is a lot harder to put on without the filters. It'll do. It's not comfortable right now because there's no filters in it and it feels really weird. The mask is a lot more comfortable with the filters on. The mouthpieces aren't touching my lips with the filters on. And there's no holes I can see out of right now. Very clear speech diaphragm. It projects my voice perfectly. So I guess the military really needed something to project their voice. Because projecting is awesome. You kind of need it for the military. Oh, gosh, that is not comfortable without the filters. <laughs> Alright, so now, give this mask a rating from 1 to 10. If I were to give this mask a rating from 1 to 10, I would have to give it... Ew. I'd have to give it a 9. My only concern with this mask is that the filters are really hard to put in. Like, really hard. It's not fun to put in these filters. If you're ever in a situation where you need to replace the filters, it's going to take you forever to replace them. It, it's not fun. It's very aggravating. It's very stressful. And I scream a lot because it's just that annoying. I got this on eBay from some dude in Lithuania for 30 bucks. You find that dude, he's probably out there. You can pick up this mask for 30 bucks. He also has it in white. So if you want to pick up the white version of this mask, go right ahead. Personally, I thought, uh, maybe I'll just buy both one day. I'll just buy a white one, just for the sake of having a white one. Before I buy a GP5, I'm buying a black GP5, and then a white GP5, because everyone has a white GP5. God. So yeah, if you find this mask on eBay, from the dude in Lithuania, I'd recommend picking it up. It's pretty cool. It's very comfortable and it's kind of scary actually. It looks pretty terrifying. I would be terrified if some random dude wearing this came up to me with a knife. I wouldn't be intimidated by the knife, I'd be intimidated by the fact that he's wearing a mask and he doesn't want his face to be revealed. It's crazy. So, um, yeah, the Russian PBF people. Now, the next gas mask I'll ever be reviewing is the. Canadian C3 M69. Expect that video eventually, I don't know. It'll be soon enough. See ya, YouTube.